Okay, uh, I know I'm a little bit late in getting this put up, but uh, here we are about <laughs> uh, less than a week from Christmas, and I guess, I uh, like I said, I should have put this up sooner, but anyways, just want to show this little project that I uh, put together. Um, I like these, these Wemo smart plugs. I've got quite a few of them in the house, and I have some smart bulbs and some of those other things. And these things are pretty good. Um, they're good when they're inside, and you don't have to worry. About what I wanted to build uh, or convert one that I could put outside to control really anything, but in this particular case, being that it's a Christmas season, to control the lights, and I have to go out there and unplug them and plug them in each night, uh, be able to just control them either um, by uh, my phone or uh, through Alexa, for example, just to tell her, you know, turn it off and on, whatever. So, uh, what I did here is uh, these little Wemo smart plugs, these are the, the minis. Um, <clears throat> they've got these on sale. I think they're still on sale on Amazon right now. Something like twenty bucks a piece. Uh, they're normally like forty, so it's actually it's almost like almost like half off on these. So I bought a couple of them, and uh, I've used these cases in the past. These boxes, uh, Carlon is the brand. Uh, I get these at Home Depot. I think you get them also at Lowe's, uh, at least here in the states. Uh, and they're nice because they're good heavy duty uh, PVC plastic, or I, I think they're PVC. Uh, uh, well, they're, they're marine rated, so I don't know if that's PVC or what. But anyways, what's really nice about them is not only are they good quality, they got a nice thick wall, but they come with these lids that already have a rubber gasket uh, already on the lid, so it makes a perfect watertight seal. Of course, you have to maintain that water seal if you uh, drill or do anything to this box. And, of course, that's what I did with mine. Um, I found some three-foot extension cords, and I just cut those uh, down. I think I cut to like uh, 16 or 18 inches on each end. And then I like to use these cable glands and uh, basically you drill a hole, the proper size hole, and then you've got a, a nut that screws on from the backside. And the idea is, uh, and these are also gasketed so that they're nice and watertight, but the idea is uh, you size, you choose the, the gland that's the perfect size for this cable, and as you tighten down, the, uh, the gland will actually tighten down on the cable, getting uh, tighter and tighter, and it will essentially be watertight. Um, let me see if I can show you in the camera here. Actually, let me see if I can take this off. I probably should have picked one of the bigger ones. But anyways, you can see there's uh, those little ridges, and uh, those tighten down. That tightens down on the cable. You can see that's flexible. And that tightens down and creates a nice wire water tight seal. So, anyways, uh, basically you got to put two of those in, one on each side. That's at least what I did. And then for the actual uh, Wemo plug, um, <clears throat> some people are going to see as a little bit of a hack job. It's working fine for me, um, and I'm not one to do nasty hack jobs if I can avoid it. But actually, in this case, it's not so bad. So uh, basically, I pulled the front panel off this thing. So I could gain access to the plug, and uh, it's hard to tell, but the the plug is actually uh, the contacts are actually soldered right to the PCB. So uh, I soldered uh, my wires directly to those contacts. There, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, grounds are just tied together, and then on the uh, on the input side, uh, I use the most people know in the, at least in the United States and Canada that these plugs typically have a um right here let me show you on this one they have a hole and uh i use that to my advantage when i'm soldering something on like that put the wire right through it and solder the wire right to the right to the prong and uh, that's what i did on this side so you've got your 110 coming in and of course the switch is switching the 110 going out now uh the one improvement that i could make to this thing that uh, i might eventually do this um, these units have a button on the front that you have to use to put it into like a programming mode or a pairing mode. And in this case, the button is right here on the PCB. And I had to, you know, manually push this to put this thing in the pairing mode. And once it was paired, I put the top back on. So one improvement would be to add some kind of waterproof switch, probably on the side here. I wouldn't put it on the top because that's just asking for water to leak in, even though it might be watertight. Um, maybe put it on the side here, just something that I could press to put this thing in the pairing mode when I need to, if I need to pair it to something else uh, or change something. Um, and maybe also there's a status LED, maybe put a waterproof LED of some sort 
uh, so I can see the LED to see what status this thing is in. So other than that, um, it's working pretty well. We've been using this thing for a couple weeks now. Uh, I'll put the top on just to show you. So the top goes right on, there's four screws, and it tightens down nice and tight, and the gasket keeps this thing waterproof. And like I said, it's been outside for a couple weeks now, working perfectly. So, um, so I know it's a quick run through, not exactly a build video, but it is showing you how I built this thing as far as the construction of it. Um, and really, uh, this is great for any time you want to switch stuff outside, lights, that sort of thing. So it doesn't have to just be for Christmas. It could be Halloween. Um, some people are into putting decoration, lighted decorations in their yard every every holiday. So this is a perfect thing for that. And uh, well, hopefully it's useful to somebody else. Okay, thanks for watching.